Hey guys, we got this 2017, uh, I think it's a 17, yeah, Dodge Ram. So check engine lights on. Uh, let's do a code scan on here. I haven't started it up yet. Vehicle's cold. I don't want to start it up yet. Oh! Well, that's exciting. Active grill air shutter circuit low. Okay, so we got some other stored codes in here. A lot of stored codes. Okay, so I'm not too concerned about these other ones. This active grill shutter is kind of cool, though. Okay, P05A5, and it sets the check engine light. Now I'm really not worried about starting it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that definitely shuts it, sets the check engine light. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside. Actually, we'll shut this off. I'm going to go inside, we'll print this out, and I want to see where this thing lives. We could pop the hood and look, but I'd rather just go do a little bit of research, see how this works, because I never had to work on one of these. And we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so I researched it. They call it all different types of stuff, and they spell grill differently. Active grill has an E in it. And grill. Uh, I think that's like a French spelling. I could be wrong. But yeah, I couldn't find it anywhere. You typed in active grill normally and and uh, it doesn't come up. See, active grill. Like I asked them if they could rechange it so we could find it easier next time. So it says it's controlled by the PCM over a dedicated LIN bus, which is kind of interesting because when I looked at the diagram, there was only power, ground, and LIN bus. PCM will command the vanes closed. Closing the grill shutter creates improved drag coefficient. It'll attempt to free them by shuttering them open and close three times right here. If it detects it. Okay. It says right here, like, if it's cold, if the ambient air temperature is greater than 40 degrees, the ML the MIL will eliminate and a DTC will be set. If the ambient air is below 40 degrees and a jam condition is detected, the smart module will assume the shutters are frozen and will not illuminate. Okay, so there we go. So it's all commanded. See right here is our connector view. We got ground, power, and LIN bus. And if you look here, we got fuse 41, which we're going to go check to make sure we have power on there. Check our ground. It's 10 amp, comes down here. And there's that. So we got that. So that's what we're going to go check real quick. Okay, guys, so I just scanned the car with the launch, and it says that that code's stored. Is the light going to go off? No, so I don't think the code's stored unless it's because the car wasn't on. Let's see, read full. Because I don't know why the snap on wouldn't load anymore. It was only. Well, it says pending. So we are pending. Let's go to actuation tests. Wonder if we can actuate the grill shutter. I don't see a shutter in here. Special functions. There's an active grill shutter replaced. Active grill shutter tests. Let's see if we can activate this. I checked the fuse. Fuse 41 was good. I could show you guys then, but I want to see if these grill shutters move. So we see our grill shutters in there. Let's press close and see what happens.
Actual position, desired position, so they're not moving, guys. Let's try opening. So, actual position, so they're not even moving. Let's just go to finished. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to read fall codes, DTCs. Uh, actually, can we clear these? Uh, I gotta shut the car off. Let's see if this will clear. There we go. Okay. Let's see, read fault codes. Okay, no DTCs. Go back. Pending. So it's instantly there. Let's see. What was it? Actuation test? No. System test. Active grill shutter. Let's see if we can do it because it's now just pending and our light ain't on. So we got our active shutter. Let's press close. Looks like it's stuck. So, let's go back. Let's go to open. Still not moving. So yeah, that's all we can do right now other than testing. Um, this is our fuse right here for our active shutters. It's, a, it's fuse 41. If you look, it says 41 uh, uh, right here. It says 41. 41 right here. And it lights that side. And it lights this side. So the only other thing we can do is test powers and grounds that are active shutter, but I think it needs to be replaced. So. I'm gonna see wh where we can get to this connector at, and then we'll get involved in replacing it. Or testing it, we'll test it once I get okay to replace it. Uh, Cause it's through a warranty company. So I'll call them quick before we run out of time, get approval, and we'll go into testing it. Okay guys, so we got this uh, active grill actuator here. So it it's all one piece, like there's no other testing to be done. Like, we could check powers and grounds at it, but we can communicate with it. So, that pretty much rule, proves powers and grounds are good. So, it's this active grill actuator right here, but we got to take the whole front end of the truck apart, it looks like, to get that out. So, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that it can be. It's kind of odd, though, because we don't really have any actual testing that we can physically do. But, like I said, there's just powers and grounds, but... Like we can communicate with it, it doesn't even try to move. So like when we go to replace it, we can check our powers and grounds there, but I want to have one here for when I rip apart the entire front end of the truck. I guess, unless there's an easier way to do it, I don't know, I was just looking it up quick and it looks like everything has to come apart in the front, because that's all part of a housing. Okay guys, so I got the uh, active shutter uh, grill down had to pull off the uh, front grill. That was kind of a pain. So we'll check our powers and grounds on here with a 5 amp test light. So we'll back probe this one Right here the red one. I think this was a 10 amp circuit. So we should be good here And then we'll put this in here and if this lights we might have to have the key on I don't know Oh Nope, it lights. So our powers and grounds are good to this. It's a bad module and like I said the uh, Position sensors, everything is all in one. So I got a whole new active grill assembly right from the dealership. So we'll connect that up and uh, we'll see if it all works. Okay guys, so I got the new active grill shutters in. Um, I'm gonna hook the scan tool up and we'll see if we can actuate these. Okay guys, I just did a full system scan. Look at that, now it's stored. Let's save this. Let's go in, let's see if we can control these active shutters. Go in here. Let's 
see. Special functions. Active grill shutter replace. Active grill shutters has been reset. Let's see, is there a way we can control this? I think it might be underneath system, or maybe it's actually oh, actual active grill shuttle test. Let's see. Oh, engine must be running. Let's start this up. Okay, so it's running. Let's see, let's close the grill. Oh, there they went and closed. Look at that. So we just closed the grill. Let's open the grill. I guess the scan tool doesn't update right. You see that? Let's go back to close. See how it... So, Scantle must not be accurate on this. Interesting. So let's go back, let's finish. And now they're opening. Okay guys, so this ain't clear in the code. Um, it's staying stored, but we should be able to Did it clear this time? Might have cleared this time. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's rescan. Make sure it cleared. No fault. There we go. Let's try starting this up again, see if it... Make sure our check engine light goes off. There we go, guys. So I'm calling it Confirm Fix. Hope you guys like it. See you later.